So it's been a while since I've done a cosplay and there is one that I've been thinking about for some time. It's from Rick and Morty. It's a really random one. It's Wasteland Summer's Costume and I wanted to video the process. I actually have a really big thing about wasting fabric. So what I always do is lay down whatever I'm going to cut a few times until I can find the most economical version um, and best way to pin it. So I'm busy figuring that out. Pin the cosy onto the double layered fabric. There is some leftover because from what I can see on this one and because this is probably the best way to make it. The straps are actually done separately. So that is left over to do that. And then I have ample fabric left over, cut perfectly. It's all cut out. The front and the back of the cosy are a little bit different, but having cut with a little bit extra allows me room to play. I just need to make sure I remember what the front and the back are. And I decided against doing the strap separately because again, it's my version of a cosy, so I have made them all joined, and then I'll just check the fit once it's on. So I am pinning together all of my seams, and then what is a little bit more finesse work is anything that isn't a seam needs a hem so that it doesn't fray. Here isn't too difficult, but coming around this corner, sucks <laughs> time to start sewing i would lie if i was said i wasn't nervous um this is a stretch fabric so it's quite tough to sew i'm just going to go very slowly and hope that i don't mess it up too much fortunately <laughs> the costume does have other components that go over it so it can hide any flaws my advice because i'm trying starting with the uh, seams first don't do that. <laughs> Start with these hems on the inside because then you have more give and then do the seams next. Psychedelic costume. I'm going to try it on. It's a little on the tight side. It was a bit tough to get on, but I'm actually pretty impressed. Part two of my Wasteland summer costume. This is the easiest part of the entire costume. The next one I'm really afraid of. So I wanted to go difficult, easy, really, really difficult, easy. Um, the costume has fabric hanging down the front. It's kind of like in a triangle shape and then down the back. Um, in the actual animation, it looks like it's pinned on, which I'm not such a fan of. But looking through other images of cosplays last night, I came across one that I thought was really beautiful. It was kind of a belt in the same fabric that the costume was made of and then hung off of them. So I'm going to do something like that. The fabric that I'm going to use is this um, shiny grey fabric. It has no stretch, but it's it doesn't need to stretch because it's just draped. And then I will be making a pattern because this is very simple and it's kind of the right size out of this butcher's paper. I've measured the butcher paper on myself. The back seems to be just a flat out drape. So the set, that one I don't need to cut. This one kind of comes more triangular in the front. So I'm just gonna fold the paper over and cut it so it's symmetrical and then pin it to the fabric and then leaving room for a hem and then cut it out. They're pinned on. I need to just remember to leave some space to hem. And this one will need a little bit of extra space because it goes over the butt. They're cut out now to start pinning. And then this fabric I can iron down to make sure that it's easier to sew. I've pinned them, so make sure that the matte side is facing upwards and the shiny is down so that when you pin and sew, it won't be visible from the front. And now I'm going to go and iron it flat so that when I sew it, it's not only neater, but it's easier to do. I am just ironing to make all the ends flat. And I just got to start sewing. What I find when I'm looking for particularly precision work is to go very slowly and a fabric like this with no stretch and a lot of sheen is also quite unforgiving so slower is always better. Waistband, I am using the same silvery stretch material that I used before so I'm just going to cut out a relatively thick piece that I will sew inside out and then flip the right way around and then I will sew the uh, hanging fabric onto that. It's ready to be sewn.
and then I will turn it inside out and we'll be able to see the silvery part and it has stretch so I can hem or sew the two ends together once I'm done and then just pull it up I've sewn it inside out I've sewn one end closed and left one end open and this is so that when I start pushing it through well, usually I do it from the bottom that I have sewn it um, the part that has been sewn is a little bit wonky well not wonky it's just folded in on itself so I want to press it just to make it lay flat but the only concern I have is that this fabric will melt as soon as the uh, iron touches it so I am going to put the towel over it and iron it so the heat just transfers through it's been ironed and now it's time to join the two ends together so I'm taking the end that is not sewn and I'm just kind of folding it in on itself so that there won't be any rough edges and then I'm going to put this one inside so that it creates a not super hideous join Seems like when this fabric is doubled up over itself, doesn't want to know, but it's all right. It looks like crap, but I'm going to drape the fabric over this so you won't even see. I'm draping the fabric on it, and the ugly seam is here, and then this is going to go over here. It's all pinned. I'm going to sew it now. So this might be a little too loose. I thought I had more meat on my bones. <laughs> Um, I will likely just bring it in a little bit, but I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out so far. For part three, I'm going to do the shoulder pieces. I have some EVA foam that I bought a while ago and never knew what to do with. It's quite thin. Um, so it's easy to cut. I'm going to use the butcher paper to make a stencil first and then take it from there. It's pinned on. I've kind of cut it according to my tiny shoulders. Um, I'm going to cut out two of this size and then two more of a size that is either a little bit bigger or a little bit shorter because in the image they stack. I have four pieces cut out and I am going to spray them silver. One side is done and when they're dry I'm going to flip them over and do the other side. I've placed them in double layers and then I'm just going to run some hot glue over them. And for part three she has the black kind of legging garter belt stocking things. Um, I was going to try and make them but I realized I could make my life a lot easier by buying dollar store pantyhose. My only concern is that they're going to be too sheer, so I bought two pairs. Let's see. I have the stockings on. They're a little more sheer than I expected, but that can always be darkened in post. And now I'm going to cut both sides and see how that uh, works. I think it's working. This is a little bit more leg than I had anticipated, but it's all right. Actually, I think it's fine because I'm going to do the same. Well, someone's going to help me do the same on the back and then replicate it on the other side. So I was going to cut the back, but I think just the front is fine. And now I'm going to start piecing everything together. So I have the full costume on and next is the waistband. Next is the shoulder pads. I would glue them on, but I think what will be easier to just keep them in place is to pin them. If I was wearing this to a con, I think it would be better to sew it in place, but because I'm just doing stills, it'll be easy enough just to pin it. So. Pairing it with some black shoes. Or putting a wig on, you gotta get your wig cap. The 
best way to put a wig on is the front first and then the back that kind of gives it a little bit more of a natural look and now to start I decided to go with gloves that I had they do have a little bit of a pink tinge but post can always fix things Let's fold them down a little bit because hers have a roll in the top and I think we are almost there that is the complete costume I'm going to go fetch a Nerf gun and we're gonna go shoot <laughs> 